today's video i am going to solve a problem from complex integration and this is the most most important problem and repeatedly asked a question and let me explain you here we have to evaluate integral 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 3 x square plus 4 x y plus i times of x square of dz along y is equal to this is x square see here this is the question asked and i am now going to give the solution for this so the points here are from 0 comma 0 to this is 1 comma 1 as you have z is equal to this is x plus i y and dz value will be this is dx plus i times of this is dy and now i am going to use this integral that is 0 comma 0 to this is 1 comma 1 this is 3 x square plus 4 x y plus i into x square into dz. Now I am going to transform this in terms of x. So in terms of x. So what is given first of all it is given that along y is equal to x square. So dy value will be 2x into dx. Now if I substitute the same thing here and x value. So the x limits are from 0 to 1. See here, x limits are from 0 to x limits are from 1. And see, so this will be 3x square plus this is 4x into what is y? y is nothing but x square plus i into this is again x square and what is dz? dz is equal to dx plus i into dy. So in place of dy, again I have to transform this in terms of x. Now, see here, the x limits are from 0 to 1. This is 3x square and this will be 4x cube plus i into this is x square. And this value is dx plus i into this is, what is dy? dy is nothing but 2x into this value is dx. And see, now, so this value is going to become 3x square plus this is i into x square. So, this is 4x cube plus i into x square and if i take dx common this will be 1 plus 2x i into dx and now if i multiply each and every term then see the limits of, of uh, x are from 0 to 1 so this is again 0 to 1 so see here so if i multiply so this will be 3x square so this is 3x square and this is 6 x cube i and if i multiply so this will be 4 x cube again if i multiply this is 8 x power 4 into i and if i multiply this is i times of x square i square this is minus this is 2 x cube into this value is dx and see this is 0 to 1 so, if I take i common, so imaginary part and the real part. So, these are the imaginary values. And see the rest are, the rest values are the real values. That is 3x square. This is 4x cube and this is minus 2x cube plus i times of. This is a 6x cube plus this is 8x power 4 plus this is x square into dx. See here. 2 minus 4 minus 2 is nothing but 2. This is 0 to 1. This is 3x square. This is 2x cube plus i times of this is 6x cube plus 8x power 4 plus x square into dx. Now see here. So if I integrate with respect to x, if I integrate with respect to x, then this value will be then this value will be, this is 3x cube by 3 plus 2x power 4 by 4 plus i times of this is x power 4 by 4 and this is 8x power 5 by 5 and this value is x square. So this will be x cube by 3 between the limits of 0 to 1. So this value is from 0 to 1. If I substitute upper limit minus lower limit and so if I cancel, so this with 2 times this will be 1 plus this is again 1 by 2 if I substitute in place of x as 1 and this is i times of so if I cancel this is 3 this is 2 so this will be 3 by 2 
plus 8 by 5 and again this is 1 by 3. So 1 plus half this is nothing but 3 by 2 plus half times of. So this is 15 to the so the value here is 30. If I take LCM so this will be 30 and 2 goes in 15 times. 15 3 is a, this is 45 and 5 6 this will be 48 and 10 so this value is 10. So the value here is 3 by 2 plus i times so if I add up these two 5 plus 8 this is 13 1 and this is 10 by 30. So ultimately the value here is 3 by 2 times of this is 1 not 3 by 30 into i therefore our integral value therefore our integral 0 comma 0 to this is 1 comma 1 this is 3x square plus 4xy plus i into x square into dz value is nothing but 3 by 2 plus 1 not 3 by 30 into i along so along the curve that is y is equal to x square so this is how we have to solve and let me explain you so here the integral is from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 and we have to evaluate 3x square plus 4xy plus i times of x square into dz so as you know that z is equal to x plus iy so dz will be dx plus i into dy so if i transform all these terms in terms of x so in place of y i substituted x square and in place of dy so in place of dy i substituted see here 2x into dx this is 2x into dx so after that i transformed in terms of x as a single integral the x limits are from 0 to 1 0 to 1 and after calculating i got the final result as 3 by 2 plus 1 not 3 by 30 into i so this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these steps and you can solve any problem of this kind and please go through this video if you don't understand for once and pass it on to your friends if you really like thank you so much